Hey all, Toves here, back playing some more Planet Zoo, and welcome back to the Dome. So this is episode 9 now, um, so pleased that you guys are enjoying this still. Um, it seems to have been very well received, so thank you to everyone that's commented and, and subscribed and liked the videos and all that sort of stuff. And if you haven't seen one of these before, uh, there's a whole bunch of previous ones, so maybe go check those out first. Um, but if you feel like it, you can obviously just stick around and watch this one. Um, so what we're doing, what we always have is this speed build section up the front of the video, um, kind of taking you through, giving you a flavour of what I've worked on this week. Um, generally you'll see, and you probably noticed already, there are lots of cuts in this. Um, there is lots, lots more footage um, that doesn't make it into the video um, and that you'll notice when we do the real time section which will happen towards the end of the video you'll see a whole load of new stuff so what I'll do is I'll give you a tour at the end of the video that show, shows you that new stuff those new bits and pieces and talk through some of the details and things so what we're working on here is built access way into the, the backstage area so this is the opposite side of the dome to where the ant exhibit is um, so I added in yeah just a bit of adding this kind of consistent feel of the rock work and you know I've been doing this whole thing with the these raised beds um, but also added in a toilet and a little staff access way um, and what we are trying to do is trying to create some kind of connected connection between the two sides of the dome and we don't manage that completely in this episode and I have to say there's this is probably going to be a, a bit of a two-parter I'd say I think there's probably going to be a continuation of this this Jaguar um, exhibit because there's a lot to do um, there's also if you're noticing me saving a lot in the speed build apologize for that but had a lot of um lots of crashes this week I think mainly due to the fact that it's uh getting quite complex in here um, so we're now, um, you'll notice here, so if you remember back to the alligator episode, the previous episode, um, where I was kind of creating this kind of mock uh, caiman crocodile, not alligators, caiman crocodile uh, exhibit. And what I had done is I had put the habitat all the way around the waterway um, and I'd added this kind of landlocked section of the island that we have here. Um, in for something else and here we are creating a bridge across so what I needed to do was break that uh, crocodile habitat into two sections so you see that there's a there's a, uh, a bit of glass going across there which I'll remove later um, and we created this bridge and I've actually built this bridge off of the monkey one that I had amazingly it works and I'll talk to you through um i'll talk you through specifics about how that works a bit later on in the video but it works really well and i was amazed to see we will see them climbing across it in a section in a second um but yeah just to get back to the to the crocodiles thing so i had to um i think i mentioned this in the previous episode but what what i was noticing is that the crocodiles weren't actually exploring all the waterway they tended to kind of hover around the entrance uh, that gated entrance to their their bedding and feeding area um, and so what this meant I could do is actually create two different crocodile habitats so I now have a crocodile habitat that runs down effectively runs down the one side of the, the dome and then another one that runs down the other side of the dome um, so we're creating this this kind of uh, blended area now that's going to have some some uh, combination of jaguars and some crocodile sleeping areas in it uh, so the idea of this and we'll, again we'll see all of this in much more detail when we get to the walk around tour and the real time section um, but yeah what, what I wanted to create is this kind of idea that the guests are almost in this like temple structure with the jaguars and, and the jaguars you'll see walk over their heads and walk close to them behind the glass and there's lots of these little kind of peek through holes and spaces to get a view of the of the jaguars and one of the ideas that i kind of came up with and this isn't based on really anything that i've seen kind of inspiration wise but just you know an idea i got in my head was this concept of the animals being able to kind of uh 
yeah, move around in lots of different areas. We've got another escape monkey there, little little tykes. The jaguar has been able to move around in lots of different areas and therefore I had this picture in my head of children kind of running through this section trying to follow and work out where the jaguar is going to appear. So the jaguars have got all these little different nooks and crannies and sections that they can appear in the habitats um, and then tunnels that connect them. And deliberately you're kind of not always shown the path that they can take. So yeah, the, the, I just got this picture in my head of kids kind of running around and exploring and trying to find where they were going to pop out. You see them walk in, see them come, sometimes going over the tunnel or on the island and then working out whether they'd kind of pop out in the next bit. Just thought that was playful and fun and, and yeah, just something that I kind of got this picture in my head and thought it'd be really nice to recreate. So in order to do this, I think there probably are going to be at least two different jaguar habitats here uh, in order to have kind of different overlapping sections. And you'll see I've created kind of an initial one and a path for that. And then I need to probably create at least another one. So yeah, just adding in now, this is actually a crocodile. Uh, this is the edge of one of the crocodile sections. Um, and just yeah, adding some details into this and creating these kind of grass barriers. And this is the this is this middle section, and this is a this is a bedding area. So um, we you can see a lot of shadows. This is definitely one of the problems of building in a dome that I've kind of realised is that you for recording purposes it does look very cool, but you end up with all these shadows everywhere. Um, and when you want to put trees in, that makes it obviously even worse. But I think this comes out really well. And in terms of actually guest experience and how this would this would feel um i think you get a better impression of it when we're down on the ground walking around um because you feel it wants to feel like it's kind of shady it wants to feel like it's something you're kind of immersed in and i think that works really well when you're down at ground level so adding in here some uh, a small animal exhibit i actually ended up changing these out um, and you'll see I kind of blend again blend these into the temple I came up on this idea of it being that they're kind of buried into the temple but and initially I don't really know why I did it but I put in some iguanas mainly because they kind of fit the, the bio but then sort of went eh, it doesn't really fit they look like they're in like a swampy area so I actually end up changing those out for more spiders um, I think the last set of spiders so we're coming up close to the end of the section. Um, yeah, this is me. This is then me creating a new. So this is actually the second Jaguar habitat here. Uh, and as I said, the idea is that it feels like it almost feels to the guests like it's one. Um, and, the, and because there's all these different paths and routes and climbable tunnels and all that sort of stuff that the guests won't really realize that these actually the separate pairs of Jaguars. Um, are kept in diff in their own habitats, and so you see a lot of you know a lot of flooring going down. Um, I really like the blend actually of the glass and this and this this kind of ruined rubble thing. It f it just felt like it worked really well. Um, but yeah, coming to the end of the real time section, guys. So we'll be back very shortly. We'll take a look at how the tunnels and stuff work. Okay, guys. So. Just before we start the tour, I thought I'd give you the science behind this and show you the, the mechanics at work and some of the insights that I learned perfectly on time. I've got two Jaguars demonstrating my two different proof of concepts here. So the big difference between these two things is obviously one is much, much wider. This bridge is considerably wider and takes up a lot more space if you were trying to use this for the purposes that I wanted, other, like a tunnel. I did actually, the ones I created for the monkeys were just really these, basically just bridges. The monkeys walk across them at all times. They're never actually climbing. They don't climb as, cl they don't class as climbing areas. Whereas this, because it's got the log up it, classes as a climbable. The big difference seems to be that the hitboxes are totally different for these animals when they are climbing versus when they are walking. So if you look at this guy, you'll see that that is a very narrow area, a very narrow strip that he can he can walk through, um, meaning that if this was any narrower, they wouldn't be able to walk on it. 
And that totally isn't a restriction that's applied when um, they're climbing. So as long as there's a log through it, as long as they're actually climbing and not walking, um, then you can make these t these narrow, tight tunnels that work really well. Okay, guys, so let's do the tour then. So starting outside as usual, we'll zoom through. We're going to go through the back entrance this time just to show you some of the back backstage changes. Um, so I mentioned this in the previous episode. We may well see, just to let you guys know, we may well hear some alarms and see some animals running out where they shouldn't be. Uh, it tends to be something that's just kind of going on. I'm pretty sure I can fix most of it. Uh, so we had, I did mention in the last episode, I was planning to open this up. So this is now open. Uh, so we come right through this double gate. I've added load more details to these corridors. I felt they were a bit bare uh, in the last episode. So yeah, I did a bunch more details. Just some details to the wall, some, uh, some signs and things. A um, couple of little vending machines that were workshop items, so they're in the collection. Looks like, it sounds like I can hear a, I think I can hear a box. So it sounds like there's a monkey trapped on the roof, which seems to be, a, I don't know why that keeps happening. I haven't yet sussed out why that is. Little, um, we'll go through that door eventually, but we'll just have a quick look at this. So there's so some lockers, little sort of food, food prep area. Um... We'll carry on down this way a little bit. We saw this in the last episode, but I've just added a few more details to it. Nothing massive. Um, I think this is pretty much done, this room. This section. So there's the back of the crocodiles there. Um, I added a new tap in there. I don't think I changed anything here. So this is, this is where it kind of starts to get incomplete. This is actually the back of the jaguars. So the jaguars... Um, Feeding and night area is going to be back here, but this is all obviously needs some more work. Um, so let's zoom back down this corridor and we'll take the left and we'll ignore the we'll ignore the animal that's clearly locked in a box somewhere. Um, and we'll go, we'll actually go round the other way. We've got a bunch of guests in today, so um, we, we are the privileged VIP tourers as ever. Um, so there's this other side of this entrance. This obviously needs a lot more work. It needs to come all the way down. Gets to a point where it stopped being done there. Um, but I thought I'd show you this for now. This view is staying. So this is little area is done. Um, unfortunately, we're not seeing any monkeys running across the bridge at the moment. Oh, there's one. No, that's a... What's that? Oh, that's a jaguar. What's the jaguar doing over there? Is that a jaguar spot? That does not appear to be a jaguar spot. <laughs> so we, it looks like they're they're um, escaping out of where they should be. We'll suss that out in a minute. So let's zoom round all the way around this way. So there seems to be some some eccentricities in how they kind of navigate past the tapirs. Excuse me, people, coming through, coming through, coming through. Okay, uh, past the anteaters. We do have a baby anteater in there now, which is cool. Uh, we saw this wall, in, I think, in the last episode. Push on down here. We come to, again, some incomplete stuff on the right, but this is starting to become... This is starting to become a point. Yeah, so that Jaguar was all the way down there. Oh, in fact, there he is. Maybe it wasn't all the way down there. Maybe we just saw him. So we managed to get one of the black jaguars after lots and lots of, of breeding. That one shouldn't be up there, is is obviously stuck. So that I think is... So when you see them do that, that is actually just them glitching. So I'm sort of not... I think I'm just going to accept that they're going to do that. Like it's not an escapable area. It's not supposed to do that according to the heat map. It's not actually supposed to be able to do that. Um, so temporarily block this bit of the river off um, and as I said in the speed build we now have two sections of crocodiles which is really cool so these guys will move up and down this bit of the river um, I think I'm going to find a better way of doing that this bridge needs some support as well but yeah I want to find a better way of blocking that off rather than just the, 
the elephant grass. So let's go round. Oh, it's, it looks like you're having a whale of a time, lady. Um, so let's go round here. So we've got a gate here into the back of that croc area. Um, this is the gate, this is the side gate, the way out. Um, a lot of this still needs work, but we look, we've got a little peaky hole into this side of the crocs. This is using the wave pattern that I used on the other side of the monkeys, but sort of deliberately changed it up a bit, turned it on its side. Um, obviously loads to do here. But this is giving you a feel. I need to I kinda need to rough up the textures of this floor and stuff I think as well. But this is hopefully giving you a feel of what this area is gonna be like. Um so it's supposed to all be fairly kind of shambolic and you know bits kinda held together. Again you've got a little peak spot here. Um and actually what's cool, what I was trying to kind of create these like layers as well. I'm hanging here for a second, I'm probably not gonna see one come through, but um, that section there is actually part of the jaguar habitat. So we've got the, the crop here, jaguar here, um, and it's a little narrow climbing spot that they can go through that's really cool that you see them. Um, spiders in there. As I said, I swapped the iguanas out for the spiders. Hopefully we'll get to see a jaguar, a jaguar, a jaguar coming across one of these bridges. Uh, in fact, there looks like there's one. Is that one down there? No, that's people. So we come into this section where we've got you know, a view of the crocs. And if we actually get to see one, it would be really cool. I'll just pause here a second guys Let's bring you back in when we get one in this section I think it looks really nice when they're here okay we've finally got one to cooperate <laughs> so it's a little bit janky needs a bit of needs a bit of work but he is he's coming so he's came up the came up the tunnel you'll see he should jump up that one walk right over the top of the guests it's a bit of fiddling I think this this log I think needs to be just lowered a bit so it doesn't kind of look like he's popping out the top but that's a really good I think that's a really good start I think that's the key to these tunnels is if they look like this they're really tight They'll look more kind of plausible and realistic. He's not gonna he's not entirely gonna cooperate, but um Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out guys. I think there's some some definitely some eccentricities to work out. Uh I think by the time we get the next episode done, we'd have definitely sharpened this up a bit more. Uh, at the moment they just come into this kind of dead end but obviously they need to be able to get uh, to where the uh, keepers can feed them and stuff so so yeah as I said I think that's got a lot of work to do um, as, you, as you see this is the second this is the second habitat here uh, and yeah we've still got loads of stuff to do we've got to bring all this round not sure what we're going to do in this section here. Um, I'm playing with the idea of having something um, where guests can kind of get up to a, like a higher viewpoint as well. But that is it for now, guys. Um, very much appreciate you watching to the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And hopefully see you guys on the next one. My name's Taves. Take it easy.